RCS, what is it and why you should consider enabling it on Android messages? RCS stands for Rich Communication Services and it's the future of text messaging. If you have Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp, chances are you've already used RCS features in some capacity, such as seeing when your friend is typing and receiving high resolution photos. RCS on Android messages means that those features will now be in your everyday messenger service. Of course, this is contingent upon carriers deciding to support it with additional fees, but right now you can get it for free and enabling these features are a glimpse into the future of messaging. So grab one of your buddies and try it out. Step-by-step -step instructions are in the description along with the original Android Police article detailing the steps that I followed. Here's how to enable RCS on Android messages. 1. Get yourself on the beta program by going to Google Play Store and select opt-in. 2. It says that it may take a while to opt-in, but I just forced close the Play Store. This should allow the app to refresh. You can easily force close by accessing recent apps and swiping away or closing those apps. You will be ready when the store allows you to update the app. 3. Update the app and download Activity Manager. Four, turn off Wi-Fi. Not sure why we need to do this, but I followed the instructions from Android Police to a T. Five, open Activity Manager and select the drop-down menu to show all activities and scroll to Messages. Tap Messages and select Set RCS Flags. Six, select ACS URL and set it to the Prod Sandbox URL here. 7. Select OTP Pattern and set it. For me, there was only one selection here, but for reference, I've included the URL. 8. Force Close and open the Messages app. 9. After you've completely reopened Messages and all your contacts have been imported, you should see an Upgrade option. If you don't, try Force Closing the app again. Select Upgrade and go through the verification flow. 10. Once that is complete, you should be good to go. You can verify easily by going to Settings, Chat Features, and you should see that you are connected. For further troubleshooting guides, you can visit the original article referenced in the description below. Let me know if you like these little hacks in the comments below, and if you don't, hit the dislike button. If you are new to the channel, I'll be doing a keyboard giveaway of a GMMK Compact. Subscribe so you don't miss out.